back. So let's get into Love and Hip Hop Miami. Let me tell you, I've been trying to watch Love and Hip Hop Miami. When it come on, my eyes go. I forget the show even on. Nobody on there you really care about seeing but Trick Daddy, Trina, uh, Pleasure P with Pretty Ricky and Shay. Everybody else on here is non-important fact factors. They are waste of space. I personally was hoping Jocelyn was going to be on there. At least the show would have had some excitement. She ain't on there yet. Shay on here acting a fool. And I was looking forward to seeing her. But she on here acting like she forgot she been to charm school. It really ain't nothing else to look forward to. On the first episode, Trick Daddy was going on about he need to tell me to. Because he going to be back in the spotlight. And he want to kind of get himself together and what have you. Um, He's self-conscious about the way his face and stuff look. Um, because you know he has lupus and it the body basically attacks itself. I'm disappointed in VH1 for not matching his makeup better because y'all know the man already self conscious. It's too many makeups out there, too many professions out there. We seen we be on Instagram, we see how people be beaten laid. They can make him look like a totally different person. They can have him put together and have him more even self conscious than that. They can show him how to put it on himself. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't do that to him. So anyway, like I said, the only thing I really wanted to see or any wrestling going on has been uh, Pleasure P and Shay, which he the one that picked up the pieces after a little scrappy and put a heart back together. But he about to turn around and break it yet again because he's still messing with his ex. His ex ain't nothing but a groupie because she only stunned him because he back with the group and she only stunned him because he got he he um gonna have that status of being in the group pretty ricky and she liked them labels or what have you she ain't stunned him she could have cared less about him she wasn't stunned him till she seen that on social media then she was ready to be back up in his face so he wrong for uh this and shade though she did act the fool now when she met um baby blue and all of them all that was uncalled for it's it just unnecessary trying to be loud. I, I'm kind of over her acting like that because everything she's been on down from uh, Flavor of Love up to Charm School up to the little bit she was on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. At this point, she should have learned people ain't feeling her like that. But anyway, uh, they we going to move on in the uh, episode. All this is in episode two. Um, I seen Dawn at Trick Daddy House, which is Jocelyn's manager. Um, she can be getting around though. She been on every show. So she must be a good friend of Mona Scott because she stay on every show. She go from show to show to show to show to show as somebody's manager. But hey, a check is a check. But, um, she treat that and manager slash nurse, whatever she is, she there. And she let Joy in. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said before, I want to see Jocelyn on this show. Um, I do want, I would like to see Jocelyn on the show and I would like to see her acting better. I would like to act, see her acting her true self and not acting for cameras. See her being how she would be if there was no cameras there. I want to see that. And what's the little chocolate girl name with the big hair? Amara. Um, she was hurt by Young Hollywood um, saying <laughs> she need to perm her hair or whatnot. I don't like him. I'm just going to be honest. He, I don't like him. I don't care for him. I'm tired of him being like, it's like he racist. But how you racist when she, she Latin American like you, though she look black, she really Latin American by the, you know what I'm saying? You was hating on her or whatever. She need to be who she is. She don't need to be another statistic. We don't need another Beyonce. She needs to be exactly who she gonna be. Anyway, um, then we had gunplay messing with Miami uh, Till. <laughs> I like that he told Kiara that she tried to come on him, and then uh, Till gonna try to act like she didn't. Yeah, you did. You bit it over, tried to bust it wide open in front of him, and it was all over. Him. And then I feel like Kiara, you stupid because she don't want you either. She just trying to do what she can to get close to the man. And if that involves sleeping with you and messing with you because she get around, then she will too. Stop being so dumb and slow. But anyway, she, uh, 
uh, Miami Tiff really playing her to the left with that. So, girl, bye. And I don't think she uh, really want gunplay. I just feel like she uh, she offended that he with somebody else. And um, putting her to the side to be with this person and outright put her in her place and told her she he's serious and really feeling somebody else. But anyway, is it <laughs> when Trick Daddy talking, why does he remind me of Mama D? When I, he be talking and getting people told like he was talking to Joy, then they show him in his little confessional, like headshots or whatever. He reminds me of Mama D every time. I do not know why, but he just reminds me of, Ma <laughs> of Mama D. So, anyway, um, it was something else on episode two I was going to tell y'all about. It must not be an important or I don't remember. Veronica. Let's see, they have Michelle Pooch on here. Oh, with DJ uh, Fizzy or whatever his name that's running around like Michelle Pooch, his girlfriend, but he really gay. Y'all, really, please, get up. Just cut, cut, cut the BS out. Really. Cut it. You need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Anyway, so let's go on and move into episode uh, three, Hey Stranger. Um, let's see, episode two is for Forbidden Fruit, yeah. So anyway, Trick Dad, like I said, Trick Daddy remind me of Mama D, how he be talking and going on in his, uh, confessional. Um, Pleasure P, he just wanting to hang out pretty Ricky. They like some little kids, they done rekindled the group, now they all want to stay together like they used to when they was real young and be little boys again and what have you and sit around and giggle and get ready to sing and what not it's all cute but anyway it was nice uh, uh baby blue wanted to, to apologize to shay i don't understand why she was going off on him anyway because uh some stuff that pleasure p told you it wasn't your place girl stay in your lane i don't like females to do like that girl bye you be doing too much you too extra too loud shut the hell up and the groupie ex girl the ex girlfriend Baby Blue, right. She ain't, she wasn't down for you when the group fell apart, but now she want to be down for you when the group back together. Like he told Pleasure P, you better be rolling with Shay. She down for you when you ain't nothing, didn't have nothing, wasn't nothing, and didn't, didn't have a doggone thing. You wanted to be, uh, she she was by your side. Now that you about to be on the come up, you need to stay with Shay because she, she need to be reaping those benefits because she done worked hard for her. not the ex-girlfriend that don't care about you. All she care about is what you got and what you going to give her. But anyway, like she said last episode, I figured since I saw the online group was getting back together, um, how she say, how, how the ex, uh, what's her name, Gabby? She like 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 she said, uh since I uh on the last episode, since I seen the group was getting back together, I figured we should get back together. That's just some straight groupy mentality to me. She don't want him like that. Just anyway. Malik is right to be worried about coming out because in 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 his business. How I feel about it is before it, it it's important to have be good at, at what he do in his business. If he's good at what he do and he's great at what he do, nobody is going to care. It won't hurt him to come out. The only thing he need to be worried about, in my personal opinion, it be family. Because business-wide, if you good at what you do, ain't nobody going to care if you gay or not. As long as they getting their money and they getting their coins and you doing your job. Um, Let's see, I don't have that much to say about that Brian McKinney that was talking talking to them. Um, but they about to know you you um gay anyway. You just didn't on the whole show. So now you out. This show done come out, so I need to get on your uh social media and see what they think about your little coming out thing because, you know, your secret is out now. When Jeffrey came around Malik went from being a big, a just masculine man to just being a girl in love. Did y'all see that? His whole demeanor changed. He, everything about him came, be, became different. He became his true self. That tripped me out because I would have never known he was gay when he was first with Michelle Pooch if he hadn't said it. 
then all of a sudden, just like <laughs> when Jeffrey came, he went to some straight applesauce mush. He was he had big old googly hearts in his eyes, and he was just all like woo woo woo. I'm like, oh my goodness, and I thought that it was cute. You know, I don't. You know, I don't like seeing gay affection where there's male or female on TV. I don't have no problem with it, but I don't need to see it. Anyway, they was cute. They was tolerable. They was fine. But I feel like Jeffrey gonna get Trina little cousin fired all up. Y'all already know he crazy. Y'all seen how he acted on Trina the first episode when he was running around hooping and hollering and carrying on. Anyway, I, uh, Malik needed to come on out. And his little Michael Jackson Jack. <laughs> and um so he can be happy. But wasn't nothing really going on much that um I want to talk about on this show either. It's really hard. Um uh, what's the little Hollywood dude name? This little beady eyed Ugh dude just rubs me the whole way. Wrong way. It was a young Hollywood. I'm trying to think of his name. I don't like him. I don't care for him. I hope he is not on another season. He is just a rude jerk. And then if Veronica keep talking to him, I'm just so through with it. I wish Amara, how you say her name, had never suggested she be friends with him or nothing so we don't even have to keep seeing him. And there wasn't nobody to even record with him because I don't like him because he a butthole. So anyway, um, a blue baby blue <laughs> wanted to apologize to Shay, and he wanted Pleasure P to kind of set up the situation where they could he could formally apologize or whatever, and he did so. So they at this little party or whatever. Then here come Groupie Gabby inviting herself down to where she is. Now I already knew I didn't know it's gonna happen this fast that Shay was gonna find out. I figured they was going to be at least episode four or five. Nope. She found that before episode three was over with. But when she threw that dog on a cup of ice cream and hit that girl up in her head. <laughs> she done bashed the frozen yogurt off that girl's forehead. She had to put some makeup on this. Probably was a frozen yogurt. <laughs> Not on that girl's head. That ice cream sound boop. <laughs> <laughs> she bounced that dog on ice cream, y'all. She got made me get my church fan out. She done bounced that dog on frozen yogurt. <laughs> she threw it with a precision. She said that ice cream. <laughs> give me this vaccine. That ice cream said, "Wow." <laughs> <laughs> they run around like some little puppies. How about pee, pee, like they call them some pigeons. <laughs> I can't fool with them. <clears throat> but anyway, she deserved it. She needed it. She should have grabbed somebody else ice cream and bounced one off on the back of pleasure pee. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway anyway I really really hope he don't mess with Gabby and he leave Gabby alone I hope Shay behavior how she be carrying on and acting is just for the cameras and she don't really act this horrible in real life so that is all of my review episodes 1 through 3 Love and Hip Hop Miami maybe it'll get better and I can still wait through the whole show cause when certain people can I just start not y'all know how many times I don't watch episode 1, 2, 3 trying to get this little bit of a review too many times and it's on DVR so I'm gonna tell you too many times to remember cause even on DVR I get up walk out the room last time I got up and went to Sam's Club 30 minutes away <laughs> forgot it was even playing that's how boring it is so anyway I'll see y'all in the next review <laughs>